Okay, let's um, start Sonic Origins. Not much else to be said there. Okay. Opening the game. Is my mic loud enough, by the way? Because I don't know if it is, even though it's like right next to me. I don't know. I might make it a little louder. Test. Yeah. Not sure on the volume there. I'll make it like a 20... 20 decibels. Okay. I wasn't sure on the menu music at first, but it's growing on me. I like it. I mean, I like the song. Just the Sonic Jam version a little bit better. But this one's pretty good too. Okay, let's just, um, start Sonic 2, I guess. Um, yeah, just making sure everything's good. Okay. We are in Mystic K. Oh, yeah, um... Where do you find Hidden Palace again? Oh, yeah, wait, I should get my tail set. Okay, a Tails Hat acquired. Um, I wonder if you can do Mystic Cave in story mode. I guess I can check. Um, Hidden, Phallus, Sonic 2, I mean Sonic Origin story mode. How do you find it? Pretty sure it's in the spike pit, but I want to double check, so. Stick to the lower path. There is a deep pit underneath a collapsible bridge that looks like a death trap. Okay. Oh, okay. So it has the same boss. So I'm not missing that much of Mystic Cave Agnes here. Okay, now I will finally start. And I will open the chat on my phone to make it easier. Let me just get that chat up. There. Okay. Stream info is all good. Just let's get those rings and become supersonic again. Oh crap, that guy's scary. We're gonna be hearing the song for most of these streams now, actually. Now that I think about it. No, oh, that's the wrong way. Which way am I going? I don't know. Ha! The spring can't do anything to me now. I like how he just turns into regular Sonic for some of the spring. But yellow. Regular Sonic but yellow. Drop dash for super sonic school.
Let's go. Okay, lower path. So I will get the rings up here first. Okay. I like the little doink sound they make. I probably needed to hit that. Oh, yeah, more invincibility. Okay, coming up right around the... Wait, what is this dude? No. Is it here? Yo. Hey there, CF. You get to see some Sonic here? Ow. Oh, I guess I didn't keep my ring. Yo. This is cool. Never played this one because I didn't really play a ton of the mobile for it, but this is neat. I know, right? I felt like it was perfect for these, so I'm wearing it. Tails hat is my pog. Yo. The head cannon team made a great level here already. It feels right out of Sonic 2, even though it's not, you know, originally in Sonic 2. At least it isn't finished in the game. Need to get enough rings here to juice. Gotta juice. I'm gonna go up there. Oh yo. This is a really cool one. Last stream we um, went insane with special stages most of the time, and yeah, I raged especially on special stage three and partially the last one, but at least it was kind of fair. Well, no, not the last one, the second to last one. I think. It was mostly the middle stages that were hard. Otherwise, it wasn't too bad. I'll have to explore it several times, because it, it seems to have quite a bit of path, too. They knew what they were doing when they made it. Can I go back? I want to go into the tube. Get some rings. Ah, oh, okay, I can't. Oh, yo, it's the Master Emerald. Also, apparently the graphics for Hidden Palace were reused in some cancelled Genesis game. Um, called like Centi Segapede or something, or Cent Centipede? I don't know. It was just Centipede that like moves in a level, like Sonic kind of, but he has like a gun. But it's also kind of like Mega Man. Kind of similar to how the, um... Wait, is that the Master M? No. I don't know. Maybe that's just some gem. Because I just destroyed it. Beep. 
speaking of reused assets, I believe part of Cyber City, which was, you know, also in a scrap zone from Sonic 2, some of the graphics were reused for, um, uh, the machine in Sonic Spinball, and, um, the layout for one of them was reused for Metropolis Act 3. So, same layout, just with the Metropolis graphics. It's in Cyber City. Wow, oh, this is a big level, actually. Get up there, what? Okay, there. Man, I was already over here. The heck? Or maybe Tails was. I don't know. Oh, I guess it's only one act. Same boss though, I guess. Sorry, Eggman, your bosses are now a joke. <clears throat> Dang, only one act? Well, it was still pretty cool. I just wish they could have done... They were allowed to do more of the scrap zones from Sonic 2. Oil Ocean. Kind of mid, but honestly, I still like it more than Casino Night somehow. Maybe because it's an actual level, and Casino Night is just a glorified mini game. I want to be supersonic so I can just breeze through it. <laughs> also, the music's kind of nice. I like it. Also, Sonic 2 was originally supposed to have a desert zone, kind of like Sandopolis, and this was supposed to be the music for that zone, so, yeah, repurposed for Oil Ocean, but it still kind of fits anyway. But yeah, that's why it has a somewhat of a desert vibe to it, even though it's, it has nothing to do with the desert in this level. Oh, I can go super now. Didn't even notice. I love her jumping through the levels with OP Sonic everywhere. It's so fun. Yep, a variety of uh, zone concepts were that didn't make it for Sonic 2 mostly made it into Sonic 3. Which is why you don't really hear about like a lot of like scrap links for Sonic 3 because most of it was just from this game, but repurposed. And Sonic 2 was originally going to have time travel as well. You didn't know that, so there's another tidbit. But instead, that was just a Sonic CD thing. Yo. Yeah, Genocide City Zone got renamed to Cyber City later. Yeah, I believe it was a mistranslation. I think they just believed it sounded like a cool word.
kind of like how Donkey Kong is named Donkey Kong because they thought it meant stubborn ape. But I mean, it works. It's a good name. Except, you know, the Sonic 2 one, not really a good name. We don't, we don't have that in our Sonic media other than, I guess, like, I don't know, Archie Eggman or something. I mean, he does, like, roboticize everyone. Ow. Roboticize, like, the whole planet. But that's not really comparable. Pretty sure he has a body count, though. Speaking of Sonic CD and Sonic Sat AM, I watched an episode recently that had time travel and time stones and also Floating Island, which, you know, the original American stuff refer to instead of Angel Island. Like, I noticed a lot of the Archie comics, it calls it the Floating Island, even though, I mean, very clearly, you know, Angel Island Zone, like, I don't know how they lost that. And translate all. Oh, yeah, whatever, I'm not returning. Anyway, the floating island was there, but it didn't really resemble how it was in Sonic 3, and no Knuckles in Sat AM, so yeah. I wonder if so Knuckles will be in Season 3, though. Or C. C. Reason? I don't know what they call how they pronounce it. Uh, Do they even pronounce that? I don't know. Anyway, the. Season 3 looks cool, and I like how it's using different characters from other things. Yeah, unfortunately, the only animated classic American Knuckles you can get is Sonic Underground, which, I mean, it's Sonic Underground. No, I missed the coin even though I have 421 of them. Wait, can I make it up there somehow? No. Oh, yo, we got it. Hey, yo. It's a lot of stuff. I like how it's just a spring with extra steps. Yeah, I've seen the Sonic OVA quite a bit as a kid. We had the VHS tape thing. It's pretty good. Dare I say Pete and Goatee or something. I don't know. Words. The funny words. This boss is kind of cool. I love how Sonic does that crashing pose. It's cool. This is the best boss thing in the franchise. In my opinion. Also, by the way, is my mic loud enough? I don't know. Probably, but... I wanna check. Surprised I didn't get an achievement for finding Hidden Palace. Oh well. Um, I guess we're going to Metropolis already. Everyone's favorite zone. Honestly, I don't mind it that much. It's a little annoying, but it's not terrible, I guess. Also has good music. Also, these things are totally in Sonic Adventure at Final Egg Zone. No, not Egg Zone, just Final Egg. Okay. I mean, they could easily work with Zone in right now. 
anyway. Oh yeah, and they're also in playing battery zone, I think. Yeah, the enemies are a little annoying, but I mean, if you have Super Sonic, you're good. Ah, oh, okay, okay. You know what? Yeah, the enemies are a little annoying, but I mean, just hold on to ring skill issue. Okay, screw slicers, man. Something, something, some call me Johnny Slate. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what? Maybe I'm eating my words. Okay, why do you have to go left? That's stupid. It does not flow well. Well, at least the shield respawn in this mode. I'm not big on those crabs either. I feel like this screen might be shorter than others, somehow. And again, I... Oh. That was completely my fault. I am silly. Why isn't this faster? I got a juice in hand. This is a Mondo slow man. I want these rings. Ah, oh. oh, I could have avoided that. Man, where's all the rings here? Kind of reminds me of Marble Zone, the spike thing. Oh yeah, aren't those bouncy things reused in Titanic Monarch Zone and Mania? And also, that's similar to that thing from Drop Rain from Sonic 1. Okay, all the enemies are bad. I, I agree. I forgot how annoying they are. But... Oh, okay, good. That isn't a bottomless thing. If this were Sonic 1, that would probably be a bottomless thing. Just saying. Uh, I'm falling. True. Metropolis Oil Ocean? Better than Marvel, though. There seems to be a running trend of Tails just being stuck off screen. I don't know why that's a problem in this port, but... Oh well. Goodbye, Tails. I like how this song kind of has Michael Jackson vibes. Even before Sonic 3. <laughs> Whenever I see big deers like that, I just think of Castlevania. I 
Damn, I might get supersonic this time. Like now they're going for it. Wait, I can just go on the wall. Hey, yeah, we got him. Giving me labyrinth zone vibes with these conveyors. I like how it kind of feels like a mixture of Sonic 1 zones. But I'm also still feeling new. the levels aren't like twice as long like in Sonic 1 because I felt like they dragged a bit yo tons of rings here oh yeah this thing is also in Sonic um Mania Titanic Minor Zone yeah, I don't know what's up with that oh I gotta google Opinion reward thing, hold up. Hold up. Oh no, I didn't mean to. Oh, okay, never mind. Hold up a second. Oh, bruh. It's asking me which of the following places have I visit, and then, it's, of course, it's always like none of them that I've actually visited. Changes look up Sprite in Sonic 3, but not in Sonic 2? Like, come on, man.
well, kind of forgot they did that, but the boss here isn't too bad any- Oh, thank you, Tails, for getting right. games. <laughs> Let's do some challenges. There's no hidden palace ones, but protect your friends from taking damage. Oh no, it's an escort mission. How many stars is this? Okay, but what if Tails goes off screen? Am I responsible for that? Well, thankfully, it seems not as easy. Eh, as long as he doesn't get hit, I'm fine. Oh yeah, I also have to do it fast. Oh, if he dies, it just restarts. Yep, we gotta protect Tails, man. He's too innocent. He has to be safe. Interesting challenge, though. Yeah, he got these. Okay, whatever. Any more Mystic Cave? Yes. Reach the goal as super. Ooh, okay. Oh crap, okay, you know what? I'm good with supersonic collecting rings. I can do this. Oh, am I- Oh, it's not a time base? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I'm good with that. I can collect rings. Okay, I'm supposed to get a number of them to be- to get S rings. I don't know how many you need for S, but that's kind of cool. I think the top route is better for that than... Just gotta make sure not to get fried. Oh, great. And there's some rings down here anyway. Okay, this is a dead end. What the heck? We gotta get more rings. Dang it, really? Dang, I have that. Do, 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 do. 
think that's the only other Mystic Cave Zone. Okay, Metropolis, Casino, right now, down. Oil Ocean. Reach the goal without touching any enemy. Mercy. Okay. We can do this. I think. Might be moderately difficult. Well, as long as I don't touch them, I'm a-okay. That's pretty neat. I lotion. Defeat 10 octuses. While staying afloat in oil. Okay, easy enough. Where's my paycheck here? Oh, okay. Whoa, what the? I'm just bathing in oil here, can't you see? Oh wait, I think I skipped one. once and then never again. I don't know why, but Arctus sounds like something Crackle I can say. Arctus. I don't know, it's a funny word. sink that fast. You'd think if the oil is that low that you just wouldn't die until then, but I don't know. Okay, you know what? This one's kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. And it's only a three star. Frick! Metropolis zone. 
We need some bumpers to reach the goal within a minute. Bounce house. Oh. For a bumper. I thought by bumpers you meant like the yellow things. What are these doing here? Springish, springish, spring it, springish. Spring it, spring it. Spring it, spring it, spring it. Spring it, spring it, spring it. There, that was easy. Spring it. Okay. Reach the goal of Super Sonic. wants me to keep a number of rings again. Well, I can do that. I'm good at rings. Okay, let's My training has led to this moment. I think. There's gonna be like a big ring stash, isn't there? Come on. Work with me here. Okay. Rings. It's not rings. Dang, I still don't have enough. No. I don't really know the strat on the- Oh, bro, there's a freaking spring there. Maybe I should take the lower route. Maybe there's more rings down there. No, there's no rings down here. It's just a freaking coin that I don't need. I wonder if there's even ultimate reps in this one. Ah! This one's hard. This is a two star? Maybe for beating it, but for getting the S rank, it seems kind of hard. Ah, platforming with supersonic on very small platforms is a little hard, actually. Will run a ring and make a difference? I don't know. This is annoying! Okay, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't waste too much time collecting, like, one ring. That's my problem. If I can do it fast enough, I should get it. Otherwise... Ah, uh, no, no, no. I have to do it, like, completely optimized here. My speed has to be so optimized. Okay. 
Put the rings while dodging arrows and climbing the wall. Oh no. One of them. Wait. Oh. No, I thought there would be a secret. Oh god. More of the freaking arrow missions? Why is there even arrows in this zone? Are you kidding me? Oh god. This is terrifying. Last part, there was an arrow mission like this one that was kind of annoying, but I beat it after a little bit. Now they're really getting crazy. Freaking Metropolis arrows. Damn it, I need to optimize it. Okay. I don't know how strict the timing may be, so, you know, good to not chance it. Damn it, I keep messing up my life. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Oh my god, the freaking star fit. You know what? That three rings probably wasn't even worth it. Freaking starfish. Okay, I thought, judging by their position, maybe they would shoot upwards instead. But, no. That was dumb. Stop thinking they're gonna shoot up. That's not how they work. Oh my god, this is terrible. How to make Metropolis more annoying to the arrows everywhere. I used to be in a kinder like you, but then I took an arrow to my knee. How? Okay, you know what? I'm 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 gonna take a seat seat here. Just like think about this for like a second. It'll be easier to concentrate like this. Oh my god, if the arrows weren't bad enough, we got the freaking starfish shooting in like five directions. Am 
I supposed to, like, wait? I mean, I guess that's an optimal solution. I'd rather wait than not get hit, I guess. Or, I mean, than get hit. What am I saying? You know what, starfish guy? You suck. I'm gonna get really sick of this though now. doing the same thing now. Instead of like actually winning. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Get down there knock. I just have to focus on how to get five more rings without getting hit. How many rings? Oh god, 50? How many rings did I have again? Man, this is gonna be like a grand puzzle now. I mean, I think there was a lot at the bottom. The starfish stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, only five more. I wanted to make sure. I mean, I guess I could get them over here, but like, how are you supposed to get those? The game probably wants me to get those for an optimal solution. I don't know how. Okay, this is... Why does sometimes this arrow hit me when I'm spinning, but other times it doesn't? It's like, I don't get it. Despicable, man. Okay, there. I'm bleeding rings everywhere. The only five I can think of are those five on the left, so... No, no, okay. Oh my god! Painful. Okay. Come on, Knuckles. Knuckles. These guys eat. Oh my god. Ah! Okay. This 
music right about now. How come, like, if Knuckles is not on the glove, it's like one centimeter, like, above where the arrow is, it hits him. Like, come on. Like, it didn't even technically touch him. Like, that's annoying. I don't like hitbox things like that. If it isn't the arrow, it's the star that I can't see. I got this eventually. It's all patterns. Okay, hold up. Wait, why wasn't it going like immediately out of it? Dang it, I forgot the star again. Faster. Oh. Ugh. This is so bad. I thought Sonic 1 would have the hardest missions, but nope, another Knuckles mission is even worse. Thought I could get that guy in time, but no. It's fine though. That took me as long as the one Sonic 1 one still though. I don't know. Okay, we got Sky Chase, Wing Fortress, Sky Chase. Oh no, Death Egg? Well, I guess that's fine anyway. Okay. Now let's beat the game and then do the rest. I like the music here, it's nice.
What the heck? I like those turtle bots. They're cute. Yeah, Wait, what's happening to all those animals anyway? Are they just dying? Like, they're just falling out of the sky. Better hope they have a parachute, man. And again, I mean, there, there's freaking walruses running into lava in Sonic 1, so I think they'll be fine. They're immune to gas. But they're not immune to robotization. Robotis robotis Robotization. There, I think I said it that time. Oh, I thought that was the end. Then again, that would have been too short. Can't Super Sonic outrun the airplane and die? Pretty sure I remember that. Oh my god, he was floating. Okay, Wing Fortress Zone. This one's kind of hard, but let's go. I mean, it's kind of hard, but as long as I get the ranks for Super Sonic, I should be all good. Also, that part of the song kind of reminds me of Bullet Axe for some reason. <laughs> hey, Blood Sonic! Oh man. Yeah, I might have a bit of a problem. Also, if you aren't moving, don't you just die? Don't you just fall off? Yeah. Tails! Tails is dead, I'm sorry. He got shot down. He didn't make it. Well, at least they practically give you a free Super Sonic at the beginning. I mean, look how many rings there are. So maybe I should wait a second. It's Super Sonic and... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Screw you, man. I'm just gonna say bye. Oh my god. Oh yeah, actually, I think there's a Dorsley video about that. Frickin' Tales of Immortality. I mean, okay, at least it isn't, like, a stupid joke to make, like, Oh, Mario does the, the, the mushrooms. It's just like, oh, Tails lives forever and everybody dies and he's sad. Like, okay. I mean, at least that makes sense. Not like, oh my god, the mushroom is so funny. How are you supposed to do that without getting hit by the fire? Is there anything up here? Like, above that wing? I wonder if I could just, like, jump over that with Super Sonic. Does the fire hurt me? I don't know, but I don't want to chance it. Okay, there, I finally made it past that. I hit jump, it didn't jump. Those 
more things that make me think of Kirby Superstar. The heck? Man, I'm bad at this. At least I have infinite lives. Otherwise, I've probably got a game over by now. How am I supposed to know how much of that I can stand on and how much I can hold on to and how much I can't? Screw you, Sonic. Like, for real, man. Like how we have like ship Eggman ships like this. With, like this one looks like you know like a basic military fleet kind of ship. But then you have like the egg fleet and like Sonic Heroes or whatever it's called. And then you have the egg carrier, which like look completely futuristic. Like you, here you have normal looking ships. And then we have those like cool ones. Not that this one is cool, it's just like you probably see something like this in real life, kind of. Real life. doesn't have a hitbox. I was worried the whole time for oh, this now. Well now I have to do this without super sonic.
Good. There's more. Oh, I lost my super song because of that thing. And again, I guess that makes it a little more challenging at least, so it's whatever. How do I get up there? Maybe if I was Super Sonic, I can make it up. I'm kind of scared to fight the final boss because I don't think I've ever beaten that without safe states. Why does it not give you any rings? Like, it's so annoying. Like, I know it's supposed to be a challenge, but come on, man. No rings? Is that your idea of a challenge? Fair challenge, anyway. Boom. Got him. I have, but only with save states, so I guess that doesn't really count. <laughs> um, I mean, I've beat most of the game without save states, just not the final boss, I think. You know, somehow his ship is in working condition, and he's catching up to Eggman. Bye, Tails. Well, I'm gonna beat it somehow on this stream, so... Yo, we're in space somehow and still alive. Real world logic does not apply. Okay, well, that's good. 
Also, Mecha Sonic is cool. I like him. So my th so a theory I saw on YouTube is um, basically after Eggman failed with Metal Sonic, instead of trying to match Sonic's speed, he tried to match his strength, and he made this Sonic. You know, makes sense, I think. True. Okay, it's kind of weird to tell which one's the hitbox and which one just kills you. You know, it's called Death Egg, but we don't even really see the Death Egg, do we? Like, we didn't see Sonic. We didn't see the whole circular, you know, ship. You know, I never thought about it, but yeah, it must have been weird seeing all this references to eggs. When he is called Eggman. You know, in the US. At the time. So, like, I wonder what people were thinking. Like, oh, it's called the Death Egg Zone. That's funny. Like, I don't know. Oh my god. Mecha Sonic, you are tough. See where the hitbox is on that guy too, apparently. No, I want to get my three free hits on him. You can possibly do it on anniversary mode if you're patient enough. Like me right now. Okay, I'm gonna sit back here. Damn it. You suck. Okay, wait. Give me a minute here. Spin dash into jump. Oh, you mean like for, um, the robot.
Damn it. Okay. How do you hit him? You die, and then you just have to redo this stupid Metal Sonic, Mecha Sonic again. Fuck you! Imagine if there was a submission that was like, beat it up two times speed, I'm like, bruh. I mean, I tried doing the spin dash, but obviously I probably shouldn't have done that either. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. I wish I could just go Super Sonic and cheese everything. Or like even have Tails to help me. Imagine if he had this robot in the movie, that'd be kinda cool. Well, they wanted to hype up Knuckles, so fair enough, they don't want him being out time by some metal sonic. Me neither. Like, I think it's like when one of his arms is up a different way, like maybe the right arm. This is so cringe. This is just flat out cringe. How do they expect anyone to do that? They could have thrown three rings there for the remake. Make it easier. No. Wait, how did I beat him that fast that time? Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna find out how to beat him. That arm? No. Okay. F Frick! I hate Eggman. He is smelly. Yeah. 
Okay, maybe it's when neither of the arms are forward. I don't know. Only that guy, Mike Buff or whatever his name is here. He was pretty cool. There's a friend I met on my Sonic TV stream. Yo. Okay, I can beat this guy pretty fast now. You know what? What if I just left? What if I just stayed here? What if I didn't want to fight the egg robot? Just chill in the middle. Okay, it's fine. I thought maybe I could attack him and get a free shot. No, I shouldn't get great stuff. Barring around here. Oh. Metal Sonic is annoying. I don't like him at all. Huh? Now wish the timing was just like a little more like like they gave him a giveaway like when he was about to like instantly kill you. At least. Like they could at least do that. Like be like, you know, okay, we're about to instant kill you because there's no rings here, but no, they don't they don't have anything. You just have to memorize those patterns, or you're just dead. Oh my god. You know, the way the Mecha Sonic's spines are designed almost reminds me of American Mohawk Sonic. A little bit. Wait a minute, I never noticed. I, I know they animate, but I, I didn't realize it was supposed to be like a chainsaw. That's kind of cool. And. A lot like how Mohawk Sonic works too, when he does this spin dash, you can see the spines. And it's like a buzzsaw. So, you know what, what if, what if it was just Japanese Sonic versus robot, you know, Mohawk Sonic, you know. Probably not, but, funny coincidence. Okay, round something of that thing, robot. Can we land one hit on him? Okay. Frick, I'm gonna look it up. I, I hate this freaking guy. Death Egg Robot. Sonic Retro. How do you- how do you hit him? How do you hit him? How do you hit him? I have to hit above the spiked fist. This is very difficult to do at any time, but the safest of times to do it when he's standing still, not taking a step. 
Hitting the bot when he's walking is considerably more risky, although it's the only way to win the battle quickly. The safest time to hit him is when he bends down slightly. This happens at two points, when he stands still a moment before he launches, and right after he lands or appears. Don't hit him when he takes his last step forward, since one of his fists will be extended forward. Okay, maybe it's, I should just wait then. Okay, well, um, I guess I kind of helps. I have to get above the fist. So maybe that's why I just died. Probably wouldn't have really figured that out, so... Thanks, Sonic Retro. I just learned the strategy from the internet. That's all I did. Now I will apply this knowledge and try to beat him. Ah, uh, freaking bus all here. Keep jumping up the wrong spot and then having to redo everything again. One, two, three. Three hits is safe. What the heck? His nose touched me and I just died. Freaking video game logic. Like, you get, like, slightly touched and then the character is just, just like, Oh, I'm dead. And it's just like, why? Video game logic. fun with this boss. I hate accidentally ending up at the back of his head. That's the worst part. I'm gonna beat this eventually. It's only been like 20 minutes on Death Egg Zone, but whatever, who cares, right? Oh my god, you idiot! Okay, 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 fine. I guess I could afford to be more careful, but I just want to get it done quickly because I hate him. And he's slow, annoying, and boring. I hate you! I hate that mecha hedgehog. Why? 
Why? What? Okay. Come on, Sonic. Sorry, I'll turn into a spike ball of death. Oh. Sometimes I feel like he just takes less hits for no reason. I don't know why. Okay, that thing real butt. Okay, he's about to use like this stendo rocket fist. Boom. Oh, frick, he does it twice. I jumped above him. It wasn't above enough. Okay. I'm gonna scramble that Eggman wide open now. Let's crack that Eggman wide open. Maybe I could try to find a cheese. No, you know, you can just die. Okay, that's fine. You know, this fight is really making me want to go to Olive Garden right about now. I don't know why. I just, I just feel like Olive Garden.
Oh, no! Man, how did the how did freaking little kids put up with this fight? I died like more than 20 times. Like, how did how did the people playing this game in the 90s do it? Did they just replay the game 200 times to get to the same fight and then hopefully try to beat it? Like, this is just kind of a yes, man. Only bad part of the game. Oh. I'm with it. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. How do the poor children of the 90s beat this? I know something something 90s players are better at games, but like... Like, come on, man. Really? beat Sonic too, so. Like, I have to keep trying, even if it's crazy. Insanely hard, like. I could cheese it. Okay. That was, that was cool. Not much to say, to be fair. My commentary is lacking Kappa. <laughs> Just kidding. It's okay. Not amazing. Not the best. Oh, yo. Holy crap. How did I do that? 
Okay, sometimes he just does both. I don't know. Damn. Okay, knowing not when to not hit is the key to victory. Like that! F -f 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 he didn't stop yet. What am I doing? Okay, Eggman. I got ya. I got ya, Eggman. I'm learning truly how to do it now. Boom. You know what? I'm brave. I'm just gonna take a ton of hits by, like, as long as I do, like, a mad dash, he has the height to make it up there. Okay, but not, not like that. Okay. I don't know when he's gonna raise his fist, but I think I'm brave enough to hit him like that. I have a strategy to beat him quicker now. Sonic's killing me again. My hands are a little worn out from this Sega funny shape controller, but that's okay. This is part of the challenge. Oh my god, I hate you. Okay, I'm, I'm sitting back down here. have to be so huge, like...
Yeah, the, the, tri the main thing I'm thinking is get him when his arms are neutral and when you're doing that running jump. It's like, that's pretty helpful. If you want to do it fast anyway. Otherwise, I would just recommend waiting. Oh, crap. I'm behind. Oh, crap. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's never happened. Boom. Neutral. Okay. Nope. Let him back down a bit. Holy crap. Why can't I jump on this stupid arm and, like, break it or something? Why? Well, how do I know if it's gonna go up or down? There's, there's, like, no way to, no good way to know. I don't know, but I think I can do it now. Maybe I'll just stay down, like, I don't know. Okay, screw you, Mecha Sonic. Well, I could get behind it, but... I can only really get one hit out of it, too. Because, like, the bombs are mostly in the way. Like, I think I hit him, like, once, and then that happened. Then again, the bombs are also easier to avoid. I, d I just don't know how I got that to happen. Okay, whatever. Fine. I don't know how I got that to happen. That's another thing. second closing door. Okay. I am on the cutting edge of coming and getting Ah, uh, now I'm just making stupid mistakes. I mean, to be fair, I forget when he backs, backs up sometimes. Robotnik, more like Slowbotnik. He moves like two miles per hour. You have like one second to tell which arm is he's about to use.
You know what? They can't even get me up from that far away from him, too. Oh, crap. Um, he's kind of cornering me. You know what? New strategy. Just run away from me. I don't even try to notch those things. Boom. I got you now, I man. Oof. I love how epic the music is, too. Oh, crap. <laughs> Come on! How many more hits does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of Eggman? That much hits, apparently, because we beat him. Let's go! We frickin' finally beat him. It only took, like, I don't even know, like, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes? Yo! I love this song. So this song is in Sonic 06, and it's pretty nice, actually. Also, I have a Super Sonic Flash that I'll just have here for no reason. <laughs> he is cool. Great game, amazing game, 10 slash 10 peak Sonic. Okay, okay, maybe I like it better than Sonic CD, a little bit. But that final boss is still kind of BS. But it was kind of fun once I learned it, but still, kind of BS. Especially on limited lives. <laughs> Why is Yuji Naka known as Yuji? Well, this song is in the credits too because I mean I guess Hidden Palace. I believe the multiplayer music was actually planned for the, um, Scrap Zones. And not for the multiplayer levels. They just used them again in those levels. Because, like, why else would they be in the credits like this?
Yo, we defeated the death egg. Let's go. Oh, wow. You can even see the robot back there. That's awesome. Wait. What? Is that Knuckles? That wasn't always there, was it? That, that's like the Sonic 3 cover art. I think that's Knuckles. Yo. Yo. That's sick, man. That that thing is crashing into Angel Island Zone or Angel Island. Preview. Bruh, look at him just flailing around. <sighs> oh my god. Terrifying. That's fun. Hey yo, we're not we're not playing Sonic 3. Oh. Okay. We're not playing it yet, but I'm most excited for that cuz you know one of my favorites, so... That'll be fun. Anyway, a couple more missions and we're good. And then we got the museum. A couple things in the museum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh wait, wrong thing. What am I doing? Sky Chase. Main Fortress. Um, what else here we got? Yo, they added that in the mobile version? Like, they're hitting stuff that never happened, man. I'm sad. Guy Chase. Queen Fortress. Guy Chase. Yeah. Let's just do Sky Chase. For now. Bullet Hail. I, I get it. That's a funny. Oh. Well, at least they have simpler to dodge enemies than the actual level. And it's another challenge of getting rings, which is interesting. Okay. I should probably just restart. They probably want me to get all the rings. Why, why do I even have to hit these guys? I mean, I don't have to hit them. I should just focus on the ring instead of hitting enemies. Where is... Is there an... Is there like an invincible AI, t invisible AI tails just bouncing somewhere? Why is this happening? Oh my god. Oh man, how long is this mission? Oh, I hate this. Okay, well, um, I'll see ya, see ya. Have a good one. You're not missing a ton anyway. I'm gonna put the game a little lower.
one ring is fine. We can just skip it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I love random bouncing sounds. They're my favorite. Wait, is that the octopi making that sound? I thought it was just Tails. And the game thinks Tails should be moving for some reason. Why do they have the same jump sound? Freaking octopi. fly faster. Oh, I have to get rings too? Okay, whatever. The natural progression, I guess. Oh god, they have the starfish?
I hate having to pay attention to these starfish. Oh yeah, I forget. Is Knuckles... Does Knuckles do this zone in Sonic 2? Or does he just skip it? Because, like... You know, Knuckles and Tails doesn't really make sense. I don't know, I haven't played Knuckles and Sonic 2 with them. That's a lot of enemy- oh my god! Way too many freaking enemies here. I hate it. Okay. I gotta remind myself of that enemy spit. What the heck? thinking because, you know, Sonic Mania just has a different level altogether, so... <laughs> I hate that freaking octopus. I don't even know how many ranks they want me to get by the end. It doesn't even tell me. 
Like, there's no way of knowing unless you are actually there. You actually have enough. At least not in game. I mean, I'm guessing there will just be a crap ton of rings at the end, like the last one, but... What? Man. This, this, this is the studio water, this mission. This is just poo water. I don't like it. You can't even see where the octopi are gonna be. I know they're called octopuses, but that's a stupid name, though. So. Like, why even call them anything? enough that the screen just goes by so slowly. All the enemies just move like ten times faster or something. I keep forgetting that the freaking turtles can shoot me too. They're cute, but they're annoying. Man, this is like the... I don't know which one is the worst one in this game, but I have several worst ones. This isn't even fun. see it. Like, most of the time. Like, really? Really, man? That's just not cool. I know they're there, but I don't even think they're gonna hit me because I'm, like, right above where they shoot. Like, for real, man? Ah, 
The octopus enemies are so stupid. Boxes in this game kind of suck sometimes, especially when you have to deal with missions, which you, you need the precision for the likes you've never seen. Okay, I have an idea. Cube's coming. Oh my god! Every die idea is a stupid one, apparently. That turtle can just completely eradicate me anyway. Why do I even try? Like, yeah. I want to try to distance myself more from the enemy, but then I get shot by a stray bullet on the side of the screen instantly when it gets on screen that I can't see when I'm trying to get a ring. Like, should I just wait until the ring is in the middle of the screen? Because, like, I feel like I probably need to get most of the rings here in order to win, but I don't know. Oh, bro, that, that was a power move. Right there. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stay here, and then... And then, um, do this. Oh, crap. Wait, wait, no! You know what? I'm just gonna keep going. See how the rest of the stage plays up. Yeah, that's where the stupid octopus is. Okay. The starfish here. There's more. Oh my. How is this even po- I have I can only get past, like. I can only get to, like, the middle before it starts going to hell. Man. Okay, well, I know there's going to be starfish, and I know there's going to be octopi in the middle of the screen. And that's scaring me. I'm just going to do some chicken time. Man, I don't know if I can do this this time. I might stop soon, I don't know. You know, I, I think I'll stop for now. But, um... I could just continue later. I'll just do the rest of the stream, like... Either tomorrow, or... I mean, not tomorrow, actually, but... I'll just do it when I feel like it. But, um... Yeah. Have a good one, everybody. Uh... Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for checking out the stream, and take care.